hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin and if you want to learn more about this kind of kinetic typography and text animation then don't forget to check out my udemy course link is available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So as always here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we are going to name it as Main Animation as always, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 1 minute long and background color is white color and simply hit ok, then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection, then I am going to select my text tool and for the font I am going to choose Poppins font and I am going to choose black version and all caps then i'll type my text you can type whatever text you want i am going to type motion like this select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this now zoom in a little bit and go to around one second select this text press r for rotation create one keyframe go somewhere around in middle of 2.5 seconds and let's make this one complete rotation so if you see this animation now you will get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 to easy these those keyframes go to the graph editor select this graph first of all right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph then select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation now in middle of that uh, let's enable this motion blur and now when my text is not completely visible i'll select this text and i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer like this and uh, hit u go to the last keyframe and now we are going to change the text to design okay after doing that select this text and press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically so if you see this animation now you will get this flip over here like that now take a gap of few seconds like this and then i'm going to select this layer again i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer i'll hit u and i'll delete those keyframes and hit also uh, make this rotation zero we don't need that then select this layer and convert this layer into 3d then i'm going to create one keyframe at y rotation then i'll go somewhere around five seconds maybe and let's make this uh, minus one okay then select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here so uh, we will get this kind of animation but uh, we need to change this design text to motion again so at this flip i am going to select this layer and i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer like that and uh, select this uh, des word and type f o over there like this so if you see uh, we will get this o then at this point i want the complete motion text so i'll go over here i'll press ctrl shift d now and now i'm going to select this layer and i'll type my full text which is motion like this then select this press ctrl alt home like that and uh, because this layer is in 3d so we cannot align it uh, li like this so uh, what we will do i'll select this layer let hit u and uh, what we are going to do over here is press ctrl r to break our ruler now we will go to the start and now we will create some guidelines so select your selection tool and we will move one line over here zoom in and make sure this line should touch this edge of this text okay then go over here and at this point i'm going to select this i'll press p for position like this and i'll move this motion text over here and make sure that it should touch the guideline and uh, you can uh, enable this dapping option also so it will properly snap at this edge like that okay and if you see uh, we will get some uh, pixel uh, 
correction so i'll select this and with the help of arrows uh, i'll try to adjust it properly okay so let's make this fit and hit you uh, and uh, my animation is ending over here five seconds so i'll hit n over here so i can check out now whether my animation is completely in the form of loop or not yeah it is in the form of loop so let's increase the duration for a while and now i'm going to select all of these layers i'll press ctrl shift c to, to pre-compose this and let's call it as text animation just like this and now i'll press ctrl y to create one solid background and hit ok go to the effect and presets panel and search for wrap effect and simply apply this gradient wrap and move this point over here and this point over here like this now press uh, uh, ctrl alt y to create one adjustment layer go to the effected presets panel and we are going to apply mosaic effect and simply double click to apply and increase the horizontal blocks to 30 now select both the layers press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and we are going to call it as wrap and hit ok and we will hide this now select this text animation go to the effected presets panel and search for type displacement effect and double click to apply okay and over here i am going to select this wrap layer and let's make this quarter resolution so now if you see this animation you will get this kind of text animation like this so uh, if you see properly my animation is starting from this point so i'll press b over here and animation is ending at this point so i'll hit n over here okay so this is how you will get this kind of text animation over here now let's select both the layers press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this i am going to call it as fill and hit ok now select this layer and hit ctrl d select this fill layer press s for scaling option and scale it like this now right click go to the reveal and reveal layer its cross project and select this hit ctrl d by holding alt i'll replace this layer with this layer now double click select this text animation right click reveal reveal layer in source project select this layer hit ctrl d by holding alt i'll replace this layer with this now double click to open this select all the layers go to the character menu and we will delete their fill and we are going to choose black color for the stroke and we are going to choose one pixels like this and let's make this full resolution so if you see uh, we will get that uh, animation at the back also but if the stroke width is quite used so you can choose point towards stroke width also over there just for a little bit of stroke width you can add that and select this fill layer over here go to the effected presets panel search for drop shadow and double click to apply and we are going to choose white color and increase the opacity to 100 increase the softness to 100 okay then press ctrl y to create one solid background layer and move this at the backward okay so this is how you will get this kind of text transition effect inside of after effects